Hello and welcome back to another 6.45 video with me, Mioni. Today we're looking at a glamour set or two glamour sets in particular from Rokon Potsherds. Rokon Potsherds are acquired from treasure chests within Mount Rokon on variant mode difficulty, the new variant mode added in 6.45. If you go to Trissant at X11.9, Y13.3 and Old Charlian near the Old Hunt board, you will find the Rock on Potsherd Exchange. You'll notice that something like a helm will cost you 9 of these potsherds, and something like a chess piece will cost you 18. In total then, for the masculine set, which has 4 pieces, that will cost you 45 Rokon potsherds. The feminine designed piece, as you can see, does not come with feet slot, which is very interesting. I presume they just share the same feet slot. If you wanted everything then, you would need to do well over 30 runs to get the 90 pot sherds you would require. Alternatively, you can buy each of these pieces of gear on the market board, but buyer beware, this stuff is going to be you know quite expensive at the moment, so you might want to just go and do the runs yourself. So let's go and look at these two sets then. As I said before, one is designed masculine and one is designed feminine, or at least that's the intention. However, the gender locks are completely stripped away from these pieces of gear, so you'll be pleased to know you can mix and match or wear whatever you want, regardless of your you know, character's race, gender, or otherwise. So bear that in mind. You should also bear in mind if you play as a Viera or Rothgar, you have one less item that you can actually use. This is, of course, one of the hats for the masculine set in particular. The feminine styled set has this headpiece that fits nicely between the ears of a Viera, whereas the masculine hat does not work. So I guess it's even easier for you guys to get your potsherd farm on. Looking then at the masculine themed set first, you'll notice that it comprises of these four pieces. The helm is very distinct with a long robed chest piece, as well as underneath there, which you can't see, which we'll show you separately in this clip. This is a long um, skirt sort of gown bottom uh, if you wanted to have that separately. You normally can't really see this with the full robe on, so I thought I'd include that as extra footage. Then we also have these sandaled feet with what I'd like to call thongs going between the big toe and the rest of the toes there with a strap. Uh, very cool. You see this in a lot of very traditional outfits across the world. It's not a bad outfit. I personally don't think I would use anything from this set myself. Um, it's not really as redeeming as the feminine style set, which actually I do like, um, which as you can see, comprises of this big long flowing rope we also have these very interesting leggings these hakama the shisu gozen hakama which i think are very distinct and unique this is something you don't really see that often is big um pardon the explanation of this but baggy um leg wear and I think this could go quite well with a bunch of things. Um, you could make some quite interesting outfits with that. The chess piece itself is really nice, and I do like the way that it has this unique um, slit down the front and then that bend outwards. It means that you can actually see leg wear, which is quite rare with long robes. And yeah, I'd be you know amazed to see where this was based on. It looks very ancient. I do like the way that the robe drapes behind as well. That is very, very cool. It reminds me of Geisha. And uh, yeah, I'm a massive fan of that. In terms of diability between these outfits, then uh, I think most people will be quite happy because it's the majority of the fabric that gets dyed and not any of the other sections. On the feminine styled outfit, then, especially on the Gozen Kokjiki, um, you will notice that the golden outline and golden trim underneath does not get changed with the color, so only the outside color. This does limit the color options uh, that could go with gold, I suppose, uh, many people would say, but a lot of the bright, vibrant colors, your reds, your, you know, your 
turquoise things like that may go quite nicely and honestly i quite like the look of metallic dyes on on this set in particular both sets look quite good with metallic colors i think it's really bringing out a lot of the details and that, that particular pattern what do i think about the outfits then i think they're pretty cool i definitely think the feminine styled one is more my cup of tea but you might have a completely different opinion what's nice about this is of course we can mix and match because the gender locks are not enforced on this which is how the rest of the game should be anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day more 6.45 videos and onwards into fan fest 2023 with las vegas this weekend much love and i'll see you all next time bye bye